affiliated with the University of Dar es Salaam, their College of Health and Allied Sciences. My talk is going to be on the implications of human leukocyte antigen G polymorphisms in, in cancer. The polymorphisms which are currently understudied in African populations with respect to, to cancer. I am going to take you through a couple of reviews that will get you understand and appreciate the significance of doing cancer-related HLAG studies in African population. This talk is based on this publication of ours, which has been recently published in the Genes and Diseases Journal. So these are what will be covered in this presentation. We are going to look at an overview of HLAG as an immunotolerant molecule, then the basic biology of HLAG, we will see the immunological impact of HLAG expression. We then see the polymorphisms of HLAG, how they do affect the expression of this molecule and how this relate to cancer. We'll take a look on the common haplotypes of HLAG and how they are globally distributed. Then we'll also take a look on the population genetics and focusing on the comparison of the uh, population genetics in African population versus in non-African population. Then we'll see the possible oncological implications of uh, the difference in population genetics. And then we have the conclusion and remarks. In general, human leukocyte antigen G is an immunotolerant molecule. It tends to suppress the normal functioning of immune cells. At normal physiological condition, it is expressly higher in those immune privileged sites such as thymus, uh, pancreatic islets, cornea, and endothelial tissues. And its expression tend to contribute to immunotolerance. Also, in, during pregnancy, the trophoblasts, they express quite a high uh, amount of this molecule. And this one uh, contributes to the protection of the fetus from maternal immune attack. In cancer and those virus infected cells, they also tend to produce high amount of, the, of this molecule and this contributes to their immune escape. Also, in autoimmunity, there is a down regulation of this molecule and this allows the cell and the immune cell immune system to, to attack the self molecules and leading to this pathological uh, uh, autoimmune condition. Human leukocyte antigens are molecules expressed from the germs clustered into the major histocompatibility complex. And the molecules can be classified into three classes, class 1, class 2, and class 3. And class 1 can molecules can further be grouped into classical and non-classical uh, molecule and HLAG belongs to the non-classical HLA class 1. Yeah, the gene for HLAG uh, contains 8 exons and 7 introns with exon 2, 3 and 4 encoding the extracellular domains of the transmembrane HLAG protein. And the extracellular domains uh, include alpha 1, alpha 2, and alpha 3. Um, the ex exon 5 encodes transmembrane region, exon 6 is the cytoplasmic part of the best transmembrane protein, and exon 7 is not transcribed into the primary transcript. Exon 8 uh, makes the 3 prime and translated the region, the 3 prime UTR. Exon 1 encodes the peptide that serves as a signal to direct the transportation of the synthesized HLA 
injected some tumor cells with human beta-2 micro microglobulin, which is quite immunogenic in mice. And some other tumor cells we are transfected with both human beta-2 microglobulin and HLAG5. So they injected these transfected cells into the immunocompetent mice. And what they found was that those cells or those mice who which received the uh, tumor cells transfected with human beta-2 microglobulin only, we are able to reject the, uh, the, the injected tumor cells, those tumor cells. But those mice which received the uh, tumor cells transfected with both human beta-2 microglobulin and HLAG5 uh, could not be able to reject those uh, tumor cells. So this indicate, indicates that HLAG5 uh, protected the injected tumor cells from being rejected into the immunocompetent mice. Also, these researchers found that they are regulating the expression of HLAG through messenger RNA interference by using the short hair pin RNA uh, improves the susceptibility of those cells to natural killer cell cytotoxicity. This study also shows that expression of HLAG allows tumor cells to grow in competent host and when they try to block the HLAG with monoclonal antibodies the injected tumor cells were more susceptible to be lysed in the host mice as I said previously that HLAG gene bears many polymorphisms in the regulatory regions, both in the 5' upstream regulatory region and 3' untranslated region. And these are the polymorphisms found in those regions. The polymorphisms in the upstream regulatory region can affect the binding of different transcription factors to their cognate uh, sites and hence affecting the expression level of this uh, molecule. Also, the uh, polymorphisms in the 5 theory prime and translated region can affect the stability of the produced messenger RNA. And all these two regions, they can, uh, the polymorphism in both two regions can affect the expression level of the uh, HLAG protein. Given the influence of polymorphisms in HLAG gene on its expression, a number of studies have been conducted to explore whether some polymorphic variants are associated with cancer susceptibility or whether they can be used as a prognostic or uh, predictive markers in cancers. As you can see in the table here, some of these polymorphic variants carry potential to serve as uh, genetic markers for cancer susceptibility, and others carry potential to serve as uh, predictive or prognostic markers. But there are some other conflicting findings not presented here, which do not find any association of these uh, uh, polymorphisms with uh, clinical potential clinical utility. So this figure shows the common haplotypes of the polymorphisms residing in the theory prime utinara of HLAG gene. Of course, there are many haplotypes, but the very common ones are these ones, 7 utinara 1 up to utinara 7. And here uh, you can see the variation sites 
that differentiate one haplotype from the others. Also, this figure shows the common haplotypes of the polymorphisms residing in the 5' upstream regulatory region of HLAG gene. So, the very common ones are 10 haplotypes. Of course, there are some others, but the very common ones are 10. PRO1 to PRO10. And indicated in this figure are the variation sets that differentiate one, poly uh, one haplotype from the others. This is the distribution of frequencies of HLAG, uh, the reprimit error haplotypes in, I mean, globally. As you can see, some of the uh, haplotypes are quite more frequent in a given population compared to other populations. As for instance, you can see UTR1 is quite is less frequent in Africa as compared to uh, European population. Also, uh, UTR5 uh, is quite more frequent I mean, in Africa as, you, uh, as compared to European population. And if you uh, can now you can see that UTR18 is almost non-existing in African population. So, and uh, of course, you can see also uh, UTR7 is quite more plain in Asian population, and it's almost not existing in African population. So, that seems to be this uh, uneven distribution of uh, UTR haplotypes uh, globally. Also, the haplotypes of the upstream regulatory region of HPLAG are uh, unevenly distributed globally. Um, so, for instance, you can see um, from 6 and from 5 are uh, almost not existing in African population. And um, you can see this uh, PROM9 being uh, quite more frequent in African population as compared to some other populations. So there, there is also this uneven distribution of uh, haplotypes I mean, globally. As far as genetic variation in HLAG gene is concerned, African population has been reported to have higher extent of HLAG diversity than non-African populations. Uh, this has been reported by Castel et al. upon evaluating the 100 genomes data. Also, Alvarez et al. Report, I mean, reported the same when they compared the polymorphisms in exon A to between Jews and people from Guinea Bissau. So people from this population, Guinea Bissau population, had a higher extent of polymorphisms in this particular uh, region of HLAG, which makes the UTR. Also, Sabak et Tal revealed that African population ha have as many as 35 unique or distinct haplotypes, which was the highest number of distinct haplotypes uh, compared to some other global populations. Some specific studies have compared the distribution of frequencies of some HLAG alleles and haplotypes between specific African populations and non-African populations. For instance, Kalin et al compared the distribution of the frequencies of alleles and haplotypes of HLAG between Malian and French populations. And they revealed that UTR1 haplotype is less frequent in Malian population as compared to French population. Also, UTR2, UTR3, and UTR5 we are found to be more frequent in Malian population as compared to French population. Also, Julie et al. found these two alleles to be more pygmies as compared 
added to the southeastern French population. Also, this land unlearned, which results into truncated expression of HLP protein with reduced immunological impact, has been reported to be highly enriched in African population. So, as we have seen, there is an even distribution of HLAG alleles and haplotypes globally. We have seen that some of haplotypes are underrepresented in African populations, while others are overrepresented in the Eurasian population. And we have seen some private uh, haplotypes which are not found in some, only found in African population and are found in some other populations. And all these ones can affect the expression profile of HLAG. And the expression profile of HLAG might have an impact on the modulation of individual susceptibility to cancer. And also, they might, it might impact the clinical pathological characteristics of cancer patients, and therefore affecting the potential utility of this uh, uh, molecule in cancer diagnosis, prognosis, and therapy. Therefore, more research, more cancer-related HLAG studies are needed to be conducted in African population, and this one will broaden our understanding of HLAG in relation to cancer development. Now, to conclude, we now know that expression of HLAG by tumor cells contributes to their immune escape. And the polymorphisms residing in the regulatory regions of this gene uh, modulate the expression of HLAG. And these polymorphisms and their haplotypes are uneven distributed between African and non African populations. So, this uneven distribution of uh, this haplotypes exposes the need to explore, to explore the oncological implications of the HLAG in the so understudied, understudied African populations. So doing such studies in African populations would broaden our understanding of how HLAG is related to cancer development and will contribute toward the realization of clinical utility of HLAG in cancer diagnosis, prognosis, and therapy. I would like to thank the Tanzania Society of Human Genetics in particular and the African Society of Human Genetics in general for this wonderful opportunity they have given me to share my scientific 